going back to tonight's episode, Diggle finally reunited with the original team. Yeah. Um, how did that feel having you back on the team after being separated for so long, and how is that dynamic going to change? Yeah, I mean, I you know he he has he has stuff to he has stuff to deal with, but that that relationship between all between uh, uh, you know Oliver and Diggle has been very solid this year, and uh, I've loved my scenes with with David as as I always do. Um, you know, I, I want him to be to be back, you know, full fledged in the world, which obviously means that, you know, he can't he can't hide out in the hive forever, which is something that you know that we uh, acknowledge uh, in a couple of episodes. But uh, it's great having him back on the team because, uh, you know, I, I think that the that I think the recruits have been have been great, but you know, Diggle's Oliver's guy. You know what I mean, and and he needs him there. He's needed him there since the beginning, so it's good to have him back. With the new team era, what kind of challenges will they face as they evolve as a team over the next few episodes? Well, I mean, everyone everyone has their, everyone has their thing. If it's you know, if it's Rory having guilt, if it's if it's Evelyn having not yet a complete trust in Oliver, which is something that we examine very soon for very cool reasons. Um, you know, if it's Renee, just not not dealing well with authority figures. Um, I think that we're pushing towards all the different all the different backstories that exist for these characters. And you know, one thing that we're not going to get over is you know Oliver says to Curtis in I think the second episode this year, of all of these people, you have the furthest to go, which is also something that we stick with through the first part of the year. So, what did it feel like? getting to rejoin Team Arrow after being separated for the beginning of the season. It did, honestly, for me, as an, as an actor, it did feel kind of weird because the faces were, they were you know, you come into a new set, literally. Like, everyone was really new, and it was just like, oh. I felt, like, I felt a little bit like Steven did uh, when he came back after he was gone for a while, and, and um, everyone was kind of, we kind of had inside jokes that he wasn't a part of a little bit. And they kind of had like this little camaraderie that I wasn't a part of, and I was just like, oh, no more OTA. <laughs> um, but it, it, they were great. It, the adjustment happened very, very quickly. And um, now we're having fun. We get to see Diggle um, hang out with Wild Dog in the episode right. that airs tonight. Um, can, do you get to spend more time with the other new recruits moving forward? We, I do, but Wild Dog and I form a kind of special relationship. He's he's a former uh, military guy, like I am. Um, he also has some post traumatic stress syndrome as well. So um, there's there's kind of a similarity in their um, in their background. So I, I think we kind of take to each other in a in a real way. We have some really really nice scenes. He and I particularly. So the new recruits, I, I do get to kind of kind of fraternize a bit with them, I guess, but Wild Dog and Diggle really hit it off. Is he a bit of like a, has he become a bit of a Yoda to some of these other guys? Uh, I think Diggle's kind of a Yoda everybody a little bit, you know what I mean? I think, I think kind of that's kind of a role he kind of, uh, kind of falls into naturally. He's kind of the oldest of the group and um, just kind of falls into that mentor. Place. So yeah, he, I, I, he does, though last season, I think Steven and, or, or Oliver and Diggle kind of switched roles a bit. Diggle was a bit compromised with how he felt when he brought there. Oliver could see through the fog and Diggle really couldn't, which was kind of a reversal of the roles. But but for the most part, I think he does kind of serve as a mentor, kind of a, an older voice, and definitely does with the new recruits. This is the longest I think we've gone without seeing um, Felicity and Diggle really check in with each other. Is that yeah. something we're going to get to see in the next few episodes? Yeah, Delicity, right? Or what, what do you call it? Delicity, yeah. Um, <laughs> What was that? <laughs> Fligal. That's good. I don't remember that one. Um, yeah, I hope so. Right? I, I, I hope you get to see more, just a th three of them more in general. You know, I think, I think the show really uh, misses that. You know, there, there was, I remember watching the show in the first and second season, and in, there was like um, an assignment they'll go on, and Felicity would be at the helm, and then Oliver and Diggle would be like in the field, and, and she'll be controlling things and open up doors that shouldn't be opened up by a computer. And that's so much fun, right, when you watch that. I miss that a little bit. So I, I hope we kind of get more of that. But there's, you know, there's 23 episodes, and 
that's that's a lot of writing. It's a lot of work. Nine months we're shooting this show. So it's um there's a big story to tell. Now you have more characters to tell this story. So I think we'll get I think they'll get back to that. And that again is a is a more of a producer question. But I, like I said before, I don't think I'm misspeaking in that. I think the show does really hinge on on that on those three and that relationship between the three. I think I think they'll get back to that in full. Is uh, Diggle having any kind of growing pains being back out in the field, especially with these new folks? What is the kind of dynamic? Uh, well, you know something. It's it's funny too because when he gets out back in the field, it was funny because when when they for the first when I first saw him get back in the field, I was just like I I called up Mark and Wendy and I was like you know I think I think Diggle has to really be the shit when he gets back out in the field. <laughs> And the new recruits need to know that. They need to come correct and recognize, you know what I mean? Like recognize the juice. <laughs> and I'm completely serious. And they're like, yeah, yeah, you're right, they do. So they rewrote the scene and they're like, it's so funny now and I hope it makes the cut. They're like, the new recruits are like, oh, he's so badass. It did. Look, it's, it did. It's, it's in there. Isn't there? Yeah. You saw it? Love it. <laughs> As the team is still kind of evolving, what is his biggest issue and happiness with this kind of growing family? I, I think um, Curtis's biggest issue will kind of play to his own weaknesses, you know, and trying to really fight through those hurdles. Olympic quote, <laughs> um, you know, um, but that's really going to be something that he, you know, delves into within the season is like, you know, what he can really do and be. Uh, um, a uh, productive member of the team, someone that they can really count on and depend on. So one, so one um, older member of the team, Diggle, has sort of come back and joined the fold. Uh, how does that change the dynamics? Yeah, I mean, you will definitely see some strenuous stress on new team arrow versus old team arrow. You know, you'll see some. Um, blow back from that a little bit, you know, but I think that they'll realize what's best for the city and put their differences aside, push through it. As the team is, the new, this new team is working together more and more, how, like, how is the dynamic between them changing as they realize their own strengths and weaknesses? Yeah, I think you start seeing a lot of the characters kind of gel that you wouldn't necessarily see with each other. And that's something I think they're really playing with, just the different mixes and matches of who goes out and what missions and whatnot and seeing like them really learning about each other and each other's background and really starting to have a deep bond and you know really caring for each other as people as well as team members you know but it's it's a really interesting dynamic to see how they mix and match well to follow up on that who is who is curtis gelling with most because he had a very funny scene with ragman right off the bat <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was a real fun scene to um play with uh you know, I think it'll bounce back and forth. You know, they, I think they're really going to explore how we all gel with each other. Uh, but that him and um, Rory's relationship is definitely something they're going to, you know, touch on some more. Uh, but you see him with, you know, Evelyn and with um, Renee and, you know, it'll just be a lot of fun.